In the world of construction, there is no better barometer of progress than a few days here at Bauma. One of the main talking points at this year's show has been how to improve operational efficiency by adopting technology. In other words, machine control. I don't think you can run a major construction operation anymore without modern day machine control and guidance systems. We're transforming the way the world works. And by streamlining the way the world of construction works, there are significant financial savings to be made. The main differences for the customer are things like reducing rework, saving materials on projects, being able to work the material tolerances on a project so you can improve the yield on things like asphalt and concrete, the more expensive materials of a project. Things like cycle times, hall counts, choreographing the activities on a project so the customer can get a much better visibility to what the project is doing by watching what the machines are doing. It's important for the owner to be able to go back and look and see how the work was done. Was the right compaction done? Was the right elevations obtained? Those types of factors will then be very important in the operational phase. You want to get the job done quickly. You want to get it done with as, as little fuel as possible, as little input, as little machine time, maintenance, operator time, etc. But you don't want to compromise on the quality of the job. So you want to do that and still deliver an absolutely uh, world-class product. In today's work environment, the way companies run their machines is as important as the machines themselves. You cannot compete effectively unless you have uh, these, these machine control and guidance systems on your site. And in a competitive world, there is pressure on small organisations to embrace and adopt the technology, as well as large businesses. I would say that the technology has always been uh, accessible to the smaller contractors. I think where the, where the industry, where we as, as providers of this kind of technology have come a very long way in the last decade or years, is that we've made it uh, more plug and play, more easy to adopt. The technology used to have this reputation of, of being space age technology that only big companies can afford it. I think that's always been a, an, an illusion. A system on a machine makes that particular machine much more efficient and the ROI is you know, a matter of months even for small contractors. And the efficiency that comes from machine control has an impact, not only during the life of a project, but also beyond, in the shape of the actionable data that is gathered. It's about getting the model completed. It's the area of getting the data prepared to go into the machine. That's really an important part of the whole project. We have software that does everything from the planning phase into the design phase, onto the machine, where we've been around for many, many years, and then the final place being where it goes for operations, where it will reside for the rest of the life of the project. As customers invest in more technology, those machines generate a lot of information. That information can be aggregated into central databases that can then be compared with things like the project plan, the project schedule, to really give you a really good project management control system that typically brings the project in under, under budget, on time, and with reduced costs. What we're doing is we're taking the information again at the beginning of the project, at the plan phase, into the design phase, and then into the construct phase. So it's that original data that's being transported along that continuum. And what that does is that goes ahead and builds up a complete set of data. At every point of that chain, uh, it is absolutely critical to, to be uh, as efficient as possible, as effective and as accurate as possible. And that is today, in today's world, you cannot do that without machine control and guidance systems.